Yo, what is that? What? What is that? Oh my god. into cultures and like can, do you know the internet what do you know the internet like what? the world wide web it's this it's this new thing but it's like a great place for people just to like to come together that share interests and like form their own cultures and that makes them a great target for ethnographical researchers Hide! Hey, how does ethnographical study work? Oh my god. Okay. Ethnographical study needs to be qualitative. It's not about the numbers, okay? It's about the people, about their responses, their reactions to the content, how they feel about it. It's just, it's entirely subjective, okay? And you can't put that into numbers. A good way to... A good way to conduct ethnographical research is through field study. That's, that involves going in to these areas, these online areas, with the fandoms, with the communities, and just interacting with them, seeing how they work, asking them questions. That's the best way you'll find out what's going on in their head. No Redrick Erickson. He showed, well, he stated that ethnographic study focuses on the significant of, significant of the actions, what it means to the people, actually, in those communities. It's about their unique experiences. And the perfect way to test these out is through close online social media observation, such as through Discord, through YouTube, through TikTok, that sort of stuff. Oh, good. You made it. Do you know John Pastel? In 2010, he wrote a review that just showed the variance that happens in online communities, the variance that comes from ethnographical research. He looked at four different studies by different authors from no later than 2008, so it was kind of early days of the internet. I think it's when the real monsters were still alive, but he just showed that each community, it just takes from those different people. It, wait!
Thomas Tilsch said that communities online are just like that of the real world, just as cultural rich, because the people that make up these communities are so different from each other that they just create their own ways of thinking, their own ways of spending time online and enjoying their fandoms. There was worry that the communities, the cultures online, the ethnographical groups would just all combine and unite into one big community and even worry that that would spill over into the real world and decimate cultures here. But I believe that that couldn't happen, that these differences are too great in just interest and enjoyment. And I think they'll even just become more different over time as we delve even further, delve even further into their interests. <laughs>